Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you thought about how should you store your cars? Are you a bit of a car buff like myself and you have space but you're debating how do you want to most effectively use the space in your garage? And have you thought about a four post lift? So I thought I would do a video to show you a couple of lifts that I actually use, post some information here, or describe some information about them that might help you in your decision process um, as you're looking around. Now there's two lifts we're gonna look at today and they are by directlift.ca. It's a company based out of Toronto, Canada. What I liked about their lifts is um, they are made overseas, but they are made specifically for them to their specifications and they are a true certified lift. Now, something you should know about is if you're looking for one of these four post lifts, I would recommend you get a certified lift. Now, how do you tell if it's certified? Well, I am going to show you here. Um, there is, sorry, I forgot what which post it was on. There is a little certification sticker here that you'll see that says certified automotive lift. It's the Automotive Lift Institute. And this one is actually certified for electrical standards for both Canada and the US. I like the idea of the certifications because it meets, it, they meet certain standards as well. Heaven forbid there ever be a mishap and I need to file an insurance claim. You know, there isn't any question of is it certified? Is it meant for our marketplace? So it just kind of takes the possibility of somebody saying something like that. Now the two lifts I'm going to show you today, uh, oh, and I guess I should mention that we're trying something different. I'm actually shooting this on a Samsung S22 Ultra phone using the director's mode. So give me some feedback if you like the idea of being able to see me actually talk to you on the video rather than just hear me. I uh, would love to hear some feedback on that. Now we're going to look at two lifts today briefly. Um, as I mentioned, directlift.ca. The first one, which is right here in front of us, is their smaller lift. This is the um, 8S Pro Park, or the Pro Park 8S. Little bit smaller, doesn't raise as high. And then next to it here, I actually have a, I believe it is a, uh, 8S, sorry, a, ni a 9 Pro is what it was, or it's an 8 Pro. It's the larger of the lifts, and then there's even one further above. The one above lifts to about the same height as this second lift, but, um, uh, it, sorry, it'd be a 9 Pro is above. This is the 8 Pro versus the 8S. The 9 Pro, the the actual ramps here are going to be wider for wider cars. The difference between the 8S and the 9 you'll notice is the height, but it's also the stance in the four posts. You'll notice this stance is actually wider, so you can get wider vehicles underneath as compared to the 8S is a little bit closer together then the nine will actually take you to the same height, wider ramp with the wider stance, and it's a little bit longer, just as the 8S is, or the 8 Pro is a little longer than the 8S. I'm gonna come around and give you a side view to give you an idea of height, because this is actually a GMC terrain sitting underneath the lift, and there is enough clearance, not tons, but there's a couple of inches clearance that you can actually see here. So you could park, you know, mid-size SUV in a lot of cases. If you really, really want to be safe, you go with the 8 Pro. Now, I like this setup because originally I had two sports cars, so I didn't need as much clearance. As time went on, 
I went to an 8 Pro because as you notice in the winter months I sit my tractor and my blade, my snow clearing blade, underneath it and because of the backhoe and the rollover protection you need that taller height so I can get, you know, this is a decent sized tractor in here underneath, keep it inside for the winter and then keep my classic car tucked up top. Now, the way these lifts work is that they're hydraulic. They work on a traditional 15 amp household plug, so you don't need any special wiring. This is our hydraulic motor right here. We actually have our uh, oil reservoir for our hydraulic fluid. And then underneath, there's a large ram that actually pulls a set of cables. For safety, they actually, as you raise, uh, just like in a mechanic's shop, you're going to hear the mechanism working, and it will actually sit into special uh, lock spots. So it will come up, and then you'll hear it click in place, and then you just take a bit of the pressure out, and it sits down on the lock. So if you're doing any work, so we'll show you an upper shot. If you're doing any work underneath the car, you know it's locked in place. Uh, and or if you haven't dropped it and you lock it in place, uh, you haven't locked it in place and it loses a bit of pressure, it'll come down and lock in place is what I meant to say. These lifts are rated for 8,000 pounds. The 9 series goes up to 9,000. So you can put pickup trucks if you're getting like the nine, the pickup truck uh, has a little bit wider stance. My pickup fits just on these right along the width of the ramps. Now, I'm actually going to stop the video for a second, come back. I want to actually pull the car out and show you underneath and then show you a few things that we've actually or I've actually done to make the lift more usable for the ways I need to use it. All right, so we've pulled that vehicle out so we can get a closer look under, underneath and what the lift is really like. So you're gonna notice there's two really solid ramps on both sides here that support the vehicle. And there's good clearance for being able to work underneath this lift as well. Now you do get some accessories, which we'll talk about in a moment, but there's also some optional equipment that you can pick up. So I'm gonna show you first thing here is there is actually a tray here that you get, it's full steel tray. It's used, I'll show you the underside. It's actually used that if you wanted to be able to put some bottle jacks or some stands for doing some work, that you can do that. I've gone a little bit different route. You can actually get a hydraulic lift that is operated by hand here. And what you'll notice, I'll actually step it back and just give it a couple of pumps. You'll notice that it raises up and there's actually adjustable arms on the end here as well. Okay, so I've come over to this side. Basically, you have some adjustable arms here. You can even take the feet off and there are additional pieces for height adjustment here. All right, so if you're working on a pickup truck and you just need that extra clearance, you can actually put those in place and then jack the vehicle up off of its tires so that if you needed to take the rims off, you'd be able to lift the vehicle take the tires and rims off, do a brake job, put winter tires on, makes it very easy. Now, this is an optional and a, uh, extra piece that has to be ordered separate from the lift, or when I purchased it, they actually had you could purchase it as a combo with your lift. It does make life really, really easy. Now, beyond that, there are some additional accessories. You